We've got the best fan interactions and reactions from the 2021 year. This one's brought to you by Sports Management Worldwide. Here we go. Pitch number two. Dribbler down the first baseline. They're going to come home to get the out, and the ball skids away. Where'd it go? What happened? Confusion. It hit Grandal, who was running in the grass. It gets away from the catcher. The runner slides in. He's safe. He picks up the umpire, just tabletops him. Tom Hallian just going for an absolute ride right here. Zach Granke's upset. He's That's not even close. And I'm just like, what? He's like, he's out of the baseline. He's, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll calm down. That guy's taking a selfie. This guy's holding up the magical cane in celebration. If you don't know about the magical cane, here you go. Trying to put the spell on Alvarez. Another 3-2. He's stuck him out. His hat is dripping like crazy, and he steps up. He looks into the box. He sees DJ staring right back at him. No way. I don't want to do this at all. And now he pukes a little bit, and then he pukes a little bit more. And then he and then DJ's like, okay, I guess we're not going to do this. And then he pukes a whole bunch more. And DJ's like, oh, man, okay, cool. That's gross. Like, That's disgusting. And then the trainer comes out, and he says, hey, uh, Hey, Dylan, what's the problem? Is it is it that mound of puke right in front of you? Is that what we're dealing with right here? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I puked a lot. And KD, he's kind of into it. And he's like, whoa, I came for baseball, but I like it, the puke. Very next pitch, deep foul ball. We can't really see it, but you can see all these people react like, whoa, whoa, what happened? Well, hit this dude right in the beer, and the beer is just spraying everywhere. Just a beer found, never seen <laughs> just such a prolonged spray from his can of beer probably paid good money for it this lady very nice of her says are you all right and he says yeah i'm good just got beer all over me and then this guy says here man you deserve this ball and just you know humans they clap for him just humans being awesome this dude claps for him and then he says you know what i had to have this dude up great job getting hit by that ball in the beer who knows i'm just gonna make his call and everyone's gonna agree or disagree i think he went but it's pretty close. Ump says, no, he went. Votto says, I didn't go. I didn't go on that one. That's not even that brutal or harsh or anything. I don't think that's worthy of anyone being upset with Votto about. But the home plate ump says something. He says, huh? The f What the fuck are you? And then it cut to replay. So he told Votto to shut up or something. And Votto said, don't talk to me. I wasn't talking to you. And then the home plate ump says, don't have to say anything to him. Like, you don't have to say anything to third base ump. And Votto says, well, I'll say stuff to you then. And he says, okay, you're out of here now. The bad news is this girl, Abigail, came to her first MLB game, and her favorite player of all time got thrown out in the first inning. She's all sad. She's crying. She's wearing the Joey Votto shirt. What's going to happen? Joey Votto says, don't worry. He signs a baseball for her, says, I am sorry I didn't play the entire game. Really nice move of Joey Votto. Then they had her come to the next game, Votto chats with her, gives her some tickets, gives her the whole treatment. Good guy, Joey Votto. I mean, sure, he's got temper. Sure, he's going to rage out on you. But in the end, good guy. We got grown men arguing over foul balls. Tucker Barnhart throws this one into the stands. And right away, you got red shirt and blue shirt converging on the ball. Now, it's going to come right into red shirt's hands, but he botches it. Now, it's up for grabs. And what happens here is that blue shirt Santa glove knocks it away but red shirt wasn't even going for the ball he was playing defense and he swipes santa's hand right there little contact santa doesn't like that bounces back to him so if we go back i mean glove onto chair bounces right back to him now red shirt's going to use his right hand to box blue santa out a little bit as he picks up the ball with his left hand, and Blue Santa didn't like that either, so he slaps him a little bit. He's going to be like, you know what? This might be fun. And he goes, hey, I didn't touch you. He said, yeah, you did. You touched me. You touched me. And eventually he's going to he's gonna count out the things he did. This guy's just laughing. And he says, uh, you know, one, you pushed me. Two, you stole my ball, and I hate you. Puts his feet up, gets comfortable. First baseman's mitt is, is a good way to go. That guy's laughing. Now this kid who he has a ball. He says, hey, old man, do you want this one? He says, yeah, thank you. That's really nice of you. And then he turns around to the guy in the red and says, hey, asshole, for what you did, he gave me the ball. And this is where it gets crazy. Now it cuts back to red shirt. He's got a ball in his left hand. 
and two balls in his right hand. So he puts, so this dude already had two balls and that was his third of the game, which makes you understand why blue shirt is a little more frustrated. Hope you guys are enjoying these. I watched it back. I enjoyed it. I forgot half of them existed. I do have to let you know that this one is brought to you by Sports Management Worldwide. And here's a little inside secret for you. Go there, become a GM, a manager, a journalist, a reporter. Get a job in sports because that's what they do. They're so good that Royals manager Mike Matheny is having all his coaches take their baseball analytics course. Manager of the Royals is telling his coaches, you got to go take these classes because I did and it made me smarter. And they're like, that's not a word. Just take the damn classes. Anyway, Sports Management World Wide, if you want to work in sports, apply for free at smww.com and use the discount code JOMBOY for $50 off the course of your choice. Sports Management World Wide. Back to the fans. The Royals are in Pittsburgh, and Gonzalez takes that pitch way deep right into that fan's weight, right into that fan's hands, leg, on the ground, doesn't make the catch, scoops it up and gets the ball, and for that, we set off fireworks. And also, for the home run, but now he's getting laughed at. Fuck! Damn! I mean, oh, what did you want me to do? Hit me right in the hand. It kind of hurt. Have some sympathy here. Oh, man. Oh. Hey, you guys want to see the ball? Yeah, do you want to see it? No. No. Hey, what's going on up there? Is that is that lady yelling at me? And she's like, damn right I'm yelling at you. Just starts giving him the finger. And the doll's looking up like, me? What? She's like, yeah. You betcha. Right at you. And he can't do anything but laugh and giggle. And then eventually the whole crowd starts like, come on, Rafa, come on, Rafa, you can do it. And trying to encourage him since he just got shit talked by one person. (laughs) And the timing on that one's just really good by this fan. And he's like, what's going on up there? She's like, oh, yeah, I'm causing a scene. And he's like, yeah, good job. Okay. Next pitch to Swarbers popped up. DJ's going to camp under it. The third out, escape the inning, get out of it. And oh my God, he drops it and they are laughing at him. (laughs) Uh, Bitch. Oh, oh, you suck. (laughs) Uh, He did suck in that moment. This pitch is put in play. Gallo. Gets under it, gets under it, gets under it, gets under it. He drops it. And this guy says, are you kidding me? And he, his friend says, what? What happened? And he says, he dropped it. And he says, what? I, I love this baseball sport. The Yankees are trying to tie the game on some drops of their own. And let's see if they can do it. It's a one-two count. That's in the air the wrong way. Bobby Dahlback underneath it. And he drops it. So now we got three just straight drops by fielders to prolong at bats or to have run score just right out of reach one two again does he strike out oh no does the catcher drop it did he catch it what happened he obviously caught that and dropped it on the transfer but joe west doesn't i mean he doesn't really have a great vantage point of that the next batter is uh giancarlo stan and he's gonna hit an absolute moonshot over the national sign bam Just the monster of a home run. A home run so monstrous it makes the green monster look small. And I love the reactions. And we got a really good race on first man up between these two kids. I'm going to give it to the kid on the left. And I don't know if it's because he's taller or maybe he's just standing more upright. But he wins it. Some other good reactions from this shot, though. Just so many mouths open. Oh, 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 whoa, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. and then they showed this kid. He's just like, what the fuck? What did I just watch? What is this game? What was any of that? Why did it feel crisp, but it was so sloppy? 